Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got some good news to drop today. A little bit of bad news as well, but I'm gonna give you a couple instances of good news that governors have taken for their states. Pay attention, it might affect you. First off, I wanna thank the sponsor of the video, it's Blackout Coffee. We're having our annual Easter sale. You can save 20% site-wide with code BASKET20. Jump on it, it's not gonna last long, obviously, because Easter is in a couple days. And also, our investment campaign is still ongoing. Uh, if you uh, wanted to become a, an owner of Blackout Coffee, then now is your chance to invest and obtain shares. I'll have links down below, blackoutcoffee.com slash g and basket20, and I'll have a link for the investment campaign as well. Let's get into this. Let's get into the good news. First off, we'll start in Virginia. Virginia's governor, Glenn Youngkin, last night vetoed all... 30 anti-gun bills, assault weapon bans, waiting periods, yada, 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 all deleted. And there were a couple other bills that were not good, but he amended them so that it negated any of the gun control in it. So Glenn Youngkin, who we were worried about because he had never, until yesterday, he had never come out in, in support of the Second Amendment vocally, verbally. So good on Virginia. Here's a quote from Governor Yunkin. He said, I swore an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of Virginia. And that absolutely includes protecting the right of law-abiding Virginians to keep and bear arms. Pretty cool. So good on Governor Yunkin in Virginia. Let's now go for some more good news in Wyoming, where Governor Mark Gordon uh, signed a bill, an anti-red flag bill, into law. Now, up until this signed bill became becoming law, the only other state in the union to have an anti-red flag law was Oklahoma. They signed that in 2020, and I covered that ad nauseum here on the channel. Uh, but it's a little different. So Oklahoma says that no state, city, blah, 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 can pass a red flag law, can institute or enforce a red flag law. The one that was signed into law by Governor Gordon in Wyoming says no federal extremist protection orders can be enforced. The problem being is there aren't any federal red flag laws because it's unconstitutional, which is why they're trying to push the states to do it. See my video about the new program by the Department of Justice looking to show them, instruct them, hold trainings on uh, how to institute that for go uh, for uh, governors, judges, uh, prosecutors, cops, blah, 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 blah. So while this is good, it doesn't stop state or locals. So just keep that in mind, Wyoming. But it's still good. You took that proactive step. So we got good news in Virginia. We got good news in Wyoming. We got good news at Blackout Coffee. You can save 20% with code BASKET20 for Easter and you could become an owner with our investment campaign. So that's the good news. Some bad news. Yeah, Governor Inslee out in uh, in Washington signed some more anti-gun uh, bills into law. Now remember last year, he banned ARs and AKs and, and dozens and dozens of semi-automatic rifles because they're assault weapons, quote unquote. And he also instituted a 10 day wait period if you wanna buy guns. Well. He had some more stuff he signed into law, and I want to show you it so that you're aware if you happen to live in Washington. He signed House Bill 2118, which requires gun dealers to run annual background checks on employees and maintain alarm systems and 24-hour video surveillance and other security measures. Dealers must also respond quickly to law enforcement queries and carry general liability insurance covering $1 million per incident. Also, HB 1903 requires gun owners to report lost or stolen guns to within 24 hours. Um, where it used to be five days. Uh, SB 5444 prohibits folks from carrying firearms in public places unless they have concealed carry permits, specifically uh, libraries, zoos, aquariums, and public tr uh, transit facilities. And that's not going to stop any criminal from doing that, just law-abiding folks. And House Bill 2021, which allows the Washington State Police to destroy firearms they confiscate and requires uh, cops and sheriffs to destroy most guns obtained through the gun buyback programs. He also signed a, a bill into law where if somebody was declared incompetent to stay in trial 
for a felony, then they would automatically forfeit their Second Amendment for the rest of their life. Uh, yeah. So, good news and bad news. Wanted to bring it to you to start your day. Hopefully the good news gets you fired up. The bad news, we'll, we're going to fix that hopefully with, uh, with lawsuits. But uh, that is the status of the country for today. This morning I do have another story that I will report to you on this afternoon about another ammo company. You're going to want to watch that one. Subscribe to this channel if you want more information like this or that ammo company information I'll be bringing to you. You can do that by hitting that red button right down below. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a penny. What it does is helps this channel tremendously by telling YouTube that people want to watch the information provided here. You can also hit the like button to help. Share the video can help as well. Those things will take you about 15 seconds of your life, yet they help the channel tremendously. So thank you for your consideration. Hope to see you back on the next video here on Guns and Gadgets. Have a great day. Take care.